Global sugar production hit 183.5 million metric tons in 2023, with Asia and Brazil leading the market. Sugarcane mass production plays a key role in society by providing essential products such as sugar, ethanol, and bioenergy. It supports the global food industry with sugar for consumption and serves as a renewable source of ethanol used in biofuels to reduce dependence on fossil fuels. The soil for sugarcane plantations is thoroughly prepared to optimize growing conditions. A tractor is used to plow and harrow the land, breaking up the soil and improving its structure to facilitate root penetration. Furrows are then created, typically spaced 75 to 90 centimeters apart, planting sugarcane sets. The harvester then cut the cane stalks at their base into segments called billets. This harvester is equipped with rotating blades that strip the leaves and cut the stalks into smaller segments. The harvested cane is then conveyed into a truck driving alongside. Finally, the billets are planted in the prepared fields using a mechanical planter. When the sugar canes are mature, they are burned to remove the excess leaf matter from the stalks, streamlining the overall processing. This process also helps to lower harvesting costs. After burning, the blackened soil absorbs heat more quickly than unburned vegetation, which can promote faster growth of the new crop. But this practice has come under scrutiny due to its significant environmental implications. Once the burned sugar cane is ready to be harvested, the harvester machine cut the cane close to the ground with rotating blades, then chop the stalks into small pieces and load it to a truck that follows the harvester. The burned leaves are separated from the stalks by the machine. The harvested canes are then collected by infield buggies and transferred to haul-out bins for further processing. Alternatively, the sugar cane can also be harvested manually using machetes, but this method is very time-consuming. On a small scale, the harvested sugar canes are manually fed into a sugar cane press, which consists of rollers through which the cane is repeatedly passed, squeezing out as much juice as possible. The extracted juice flows through a tube and is collected in a container. The leftover fibrous material from juice extraction, known as bagasse, is burned to produce bioenergy, which can generate energy for the sugar processing machine. On a larger scale, the filled haul-out bins are transported by semi-trailer and unloaded into specialized shredding equipment, which cuts the cane into smaller pieces. These chopped cane segments are then conveyed into a series of heavy roller mills. The high-pressure crushing action of the roller mills extracts the juice from the cane. During the milling process, water is added to enhance the efficiency of juice extraction.
cane juice extracted from the milling process is transferred to a clarifying tower where it undergoes a series of heating and filtration steps. The clarifying tower utilizes a spinning mechanism to enhance the separation of impurities from the sugar juice. As it spins, the denser impurities are forced outward against the tower walls, while the lighter sugar juice remains concentrated near the center. This creates distinct layers within the tower. Clarified sugar juice is collected from the center, while the mud settles at the bottom and is removed as sludge. The mud produced from this process can be used as an organic fertilizer, as it contains a variety of essential nutrients that are crucial for plant growth. The clarified juice is boiled to concentrated sugar content, resulting in a thick syrup. Skilled workers carefully skim off impurities using a fine mesh sieve, maintaining clarity and preventing crystallization. The mixture is brushed down the pan sides and is removed from heat to cool. The resulting raw product, which contains residual molasses, is stored in large warehouses in optimal condition to safeguard its quality. The raw sugar is then mixed with a warm syrup that is more concentrated than the molasses, coating the crystals, and the result is a thick paste known as masequity, containing syrup and sugar crystals. The masequity is transferred to a large vessel called a crystallizer, where the water is evaporated as sugar crystals grow. Quality inspectors thoroughly examine the products, evaluating their appearance and composition. The sugar crystal is then transferred to a high-speed sugar centrifuge, which spins at rapid speed, effectively separating the crystals from the molasses. As the centrifuge rotates, the molasses passes through the perforations while the sugar crystals are retained. Within the centrifuge, the sugar is washed with water, then dried and cooled. The refined white sugar is finally packed for distribution. Separately, the dark brown Muscovado sugar is also weighed and prepared for sale. Sugarcane is mass-produced because it is a highly efficient crop for producing sugar, ethanol, and other byproducts like molasses and biofuels. Its high yield per hectare and adaptability to tropical and subtropical climates make it ideal for large-scale farming. 
Additionally, sugarcane is a key raw material in many industries, including food and beverages, bioenergy and pharmaceuticals, driving strong demand globally. The versatility and economic value of its products contribute to its mass production.